that you've had a lot of success at Sonoma, three total wins there, back-to-back -back wins. You didn't get to go there last year, but you're looking for the three-peat this weekend. How are you feeling about that? I'm feeling good, you know. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, it sucked not going there last year. Um, they try to do it, but uh, looking forward to it. You know, it's been a, an awesome track for us, and uh, it's it's one of my favorites. So uh, hopefully we can get our mojo back. We've had a couple tough weeks here and uh, need to get back on track. And then you go from a weekend like this past weekend at Charlotte where you have practice, you have qualifying, to this weekend where you're just showing up for a one-day show. How do you kind of flip the script and then pre prepare for Sonoma after that? Yeah, just really just looking back at, at past uh, history. And, you know, I spent some time in the simulator earlier this week just to try to reacclimate myself to the track. And, um, you know, the rule package is different than what we raced there in 2019. So that's another added curveball. And uh, just trying to trying to be prepared for that. Um, you know, you don't really know exactly what the car is going to be like, but you, know, you hope you have, have an idea. Um, so I, I think the first lap or two of the race, guys will be, um, you know, a taking it a little bit easy, you know, just maybe 98%, 97% and <laughs> try to let it settle out or sort out and, uh, and go from there. But uh, yeah, always look forward to going out to Sonoma. Uh, and then today, some exciting news. Five tracks announced that when it comes time for you guys to head to their track, they're going to be at full capacity without restrictions for fans. So just to kind of know that we're getting back to that atmosphere, how does that make you feel? Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's uh, it's what we've all been waiting for. Uh, you know, this past weekend at, at Charlotte was, uh, it felt pretty awesome to have everybody there on the grid and um, just to feel that energy again, you know, to feel the excitement. And, um, you know, the only, the only downfall is traffic after the race, but we can deal with that. So, uh, you know, that's, that's part of it, but um, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, everybody's excited about it. Uh, the teams, the drivers, the sponsors, you name it, uh, the fans. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, it's the first time I signed an autograph in the garage in, in over a year. So it was like, Oh, that's what this is like. <laughs> so <laughs> we're all we're all happy it's getting back, and uh, yeah, hopefully we never have to deal with this stuff again. Yeah, it was definitely a, a surreal weekend. I feel like at Charlotte, one just having you guys there all weekend long, and then when I was pulling up to the track on Sunday, I was like, what? "Whoa! Like, where did all the people come from?" And then to see all the fans in the stands, and like you mentioned, you know, having everybody out there with you, Sherry was out there, and, and all of that. So just. You know, what was that like really for you when you kind of look back on it now and, and take all that in? Oh, I mean, it was it was awesome. I mean, I think you, you know, you take those things for granted when you're used to doing them every weekend, you know, and you know, Johnny Morris was there and Sherry was there. And we, we got to see a lot of a lot of people that we haven't seen in a while. Uh, we got to meet Pitbull. They were you know, he was right behind us. His car was right behind us on the grid. So we got to, me and Johnny Morris took a picture with him and. Uh, super nice guy. So just, um, you know, just that that pre-race energy is so it's such a big part of our sport and, and what we do. And, um, you know, I can remember last year at Martinsville when we won the race and it was early on in the, in the you know, the, the virus deal and there was nobody there. And I got out of the car and I'm like getting I'm so jacked up. I just won and I get out and I'm like, all right, this is weird. Nothing's nothing's happening. And they're like, OK, here, take your picture real quick and then you got to leave. You got to go home. And there's like no celebration, there's no energy, there's no excitement. So definitely welcome, uh, welcome back to all the, all the stuff getting back to normal. So it's, uh, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, definitely. And then just kind of looking at, you know, everyone's performance last week and you look at, you know, what Hendrick Motorsports was able to accomplish and you see the momentum that that team has right now. What are the conversations like for you guys at, at Joe Gibbs Racing and how do you kind of tackle that and, and get back up there and, and take the checkered flag? Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of the way this sport works. You know, it's um, the teams come and go. And at some point, you know, you hope you're, you always hope you're the guys at the top. But, it, you know, reality is that's not always going to be the case. And, you know, obviously the Hendrick group has been super strong all year long, um, especially with the high downforce package that we raced, you know, like at Charlotte. I feel like they're dominant. So we uh, we've got some work to do. No question about it. Um, but, you know, obviously Sonoma has been a good track for us, so hopefully we can get back on track there. But, um, you know, definitely got some work to do for the uh, for the 550 package. And you know, I think the guys at the team are working hard on that. And uh, we, we've all confidence in the world in them, what they've been able to do uh, you know, over the years uh, consistently. So waiting for some good stuff coming down the line, hopefully, and uh, we'll get to use it soon. Well, and of course, you've still got to be feeling pretty good. Three wins this season. I think you're sixth in the in the point standing. So feeling pretty good overall heading to Sonoma this weekend. Yeah, yeah, I mean, feeling pretty good. The last, uh, honestly, you know, we, we dominated at Darlington and, and the last three weeks have just been really tough. So, you know, NASCAR is a humbling sport. You know, it's, um, <laughs> 
you can win five in a row and then not finish five in a row. And it's kind of been the deal for us, uh, you know, tough break the last two weeks, obviously getting, getting crashed at, at Coda and then the flat tire the other night at Charlotte and, um, you know, need to get it turned around. So I think Sonoma is a great place for us to do that. And, um, you know, got to overcome a, a bit of a bad starting position because of the finish at Charlotte. So that's going to be tough, but uh, I think we can do it. Perfect. Well, I appreciate your time. Good luck this weekend. Great to see you as always. You too, Ashley. Thank you. Take care.